So when I thought you meant Beyblade, I was thinking of, uh, oh god, uh, Tangan's blades, like how they were spinning. Mm-hmm. Uh, like oh yeah, that meant like a Beyblade. Are we, yeah. are we talking about Demon Slayer now? I mean, we can just jump into it. It's an intense fight. Taylor, would you say too much talking? Yeah, I, I almost never <laughs> say too much talking. Truly, I don't. I was like, Stan made a good point where it's like, yeah, I guess there did have to be a lot of like, you know, stalling in the beginning because there was so much intense animation near the end. And I get that. But I w- personally, I would have rather just like waited an extra week or two and just had an episode that had more, more full fighting. Because whenever I see these scenes and it, anime does this a lot and video games do it all the freaking time where they'll just stand around and like repeat the same like um what's the word aggressive words at each other like i'm gonna kill you no i'm gonna kill yeah, you yeah i feel like it was like a standoff yeah, for so long where i'm just like somebody oh. just throw a blow <laughs> swing your sword do something like <laughs> no i uh, agree with you there no, how to tell you, uh, about half the episode was uh, a bunch of talking the second half was uh, it was very sick fighting animation though it just looks yeah. so cool i just want to say uh tundrail man how are you still standing sir you're like <laughs> no, right not, not only have you taken main like, character from, energy, from David. Come on, we're not I don't know how many times I have to say best boy, but <laughs> seriously, come on. He, he took all the damage from Doki the first time. He, he so Ari, Ari strained his body. He strained his body again using <laughs> the power up. You know, you know, Kagura second time against took, Doki. He took damage from physical too. He tied he tied his hand to the sword, so it's okay. We see that he's hurting because he tied his hand to the sword. <laughs> He's shaking all... <laughs> either fear or tiredness. Yeah. And all of this while he's still carrying the box of Nezuko. I'm like, you can't just put that down, sir. That's like a huge <laughs> no, weight man. on you. It's like slowing you down. You leave a little uh, demon girl free in the city in the box, that shit's going to be swiped up in two seconds. <laughs> well, you're yeah. both going to die because you're, 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 you're too slow because <laughs> the box is carrying you down while trying to dodge all this stuff. Yeah, the, the, the box saved his ass when he was going to attack this freaking, what's his name, Yutaro? When Yudara was just basically gonna finish Tanjiro, the Tengen goes like, oh, got you. And with his sword, he just pulls the box and pulls him out of the way. So I the mean, box saved his ass. He could do that about the box. He could have grabbed the box. his clothes. He could have grabbed his clothes, too. It was, it was whatever. The box is actually the main character of the <sighs> so, player. Lazy ass, Nezuko sleeping. Not with Nezuko, and it's just the box itself has a lot of meaning and importance. Box so, at defense. least... And, yeah, at least Tondro can like. I'm just a hindrance here. What am I even doing? I'm like, yeah, Tondro, you're fucking tired. Yeah. Take a break, sir. Yeah, I I, like, I found myself laughing when um, Inosuke and and Zenitsu are on the roof fighting Daki and stuff. And you know, Zenitsu's been asleep this whole damn time for the last like two and a half right. episodes. And then man just decides to have a full blown conversation with Daki, you know, on the roof and stuff about yeah. how he can't treat the girls that way and everything. And I'm just like, all right, Zenitsu, like. I'll suspend my belief just for you because. But something about Tanitsu that I loved, well, like when they were uh, talking like downstairs, when they were still all inside the building, mm-hmm. and she started talking, I just he sent it to move his feet, and I'm like, okay, shit's about to go down. This boy's finally yeah, gonna knew, give us some light. We knew he's gonna get his redemption for for what. Oh, Daki and then you know, Daki getting that third eye. Like I'm sure there's you know a Naruto reference there somewhere, but. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. But it's an interesting way to tie into, you know, the siblings and stuff and how uh, Gyotaro is able to basically assist Daki and know what's going on uh, oh, and outside also, of the building. Yeah. But he's he's yeah. fighting now in handicap with one eye. It's like, here, True. you get my True, one that, eye. Maybe that's how much of a badass this. he is where he's like, I don't even need a second eye. Like, my sister, I'm always picking the slack for her. Like, she's just constantly getting decapitated. Like, all right, <laughs> let me open up the third eye on her so I can actually make her, like, competent. I mean, but but Tengen's oh. also fighting with the uh, with the handicap as well. I mean, you know, he's he's currently. Uh, I know that man's hurting. That po- that poison. I was gonna say, you know. feel, feels bad, man, for Tengen because he's like, oh, dude, this poison's got me. That is nothing. I'm a Shinobi. I have poison resistance. And then it's like, okay, I believe you. And then by the end of the episode, you see like the the poison like visually yeah, starting to appear on his body. I'm like, I'm like, oh god, Tengen, no. <laughs> I would You're say, just I would front, say, front this whole time. <laughs> Tengen's handicap is not the poison. Freaking Tengen's handicap is Tanjiro. He has to save his ass and not see, kill Johan him. agrees. <laughs> Johan agrees with me right here, man. Yeah, That's no, what I I'm agree saying. too. I agree too. Yeah, it's one of those things where he's just so flashy. He, he can never say that. Yeah, it's just he's... about being flashy. You know, that's not flashy. Complaining is not flashy. But is... it is true. To you guys' point. You know, he's fighting at a handicap oh. with the rest of the crew. I know. Right? You know, <laughs> the guy gets drunk on poison and he starts acting like Rengoku. You know, something that I was thinking, <laughs> like, and I for some reason I don't remember this. You know, his wife. One of the mm-hmm. three, when she 
hits the kunais and the kunais mm -hmm. have like the guitar says oh maybe they have wisteria oh, yeah. i wonder yeah. if the wisteria mm -hmm. and the kunais he let them like hit him because it would be kind of a like an oh, antidote counteract maybe yeah. yeah yeah that's like one yeah. way i guess definitely it could be i just viewed too that like he he's just all in at this point like <laughs> he probably knew in that moment of her launching that that they were lace and everything but i think he also knew that he thought Gyotaro would think that he would dodge them because he doesn't mm. want to damage himself, and he's just like, fuck it, you know? Yeah. They're going just... right through it so I can get a chance at slicing that man's head off. They're just so. normal kunai, it's fine. But you can see the difference yeah. between, like, the difference in level between Gyotaro, like, he sees the little balls, and he dodges them, and his <laughs> sister just hits all of them, and they explode, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, no. No, it's so, it's super badass, so. But yeah, just like how Hanate said, just tank the kunais. Just get mm -hmm. them out of the exactly. way. Exactly. Just a little kunai, you know. <laughs> brush it off. The man has destroy written on his back, <laughs> no. and his biceps are bulging out of their minds with these veins. So I, th I think a little kunai, you know, no big thing. He's fine. Uh, He's fine. Hanging. Exactly. Also, the uh, was it the, the Demon Slayer ending part, like the theater thing? Feels bad, man. It's just just oh, yeah, Goku. Ren Goku. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, yeah, I, I, I almost said I fun... love it though, where Ren Goku's just like, "Hey, man, it's all good." He's like. I agree with you with most things, but those three wives, that I can't agree with. And I'm just like, I that's mean, totally Rengoku, like this pure good boy. Like, yep, that was the first like, serious Ninin we've had. Yeah. We know when... shit's, shit's, getting, shit's getting heavy when the Ninin is not even funny anymore. <laughs> One thing I have to say about like Demon Slayer, I love it. But does it have to be so many like funny parts all the time with yes, the faces? Yes. Even like in the hey, middle of the time, like, man, Johan, think... I've been saying God, that on these episodes. Like, I could do without the comedy. I... I understand people that enjoy it, but I'm there for the fight scenes. Like, I, I feel like I it would be like it's it's a really yeah. really good anime, but it would be probably Death Note level <laughs> if it didn't have so many much comedy all the fucking time. There's people that want to see action I... and movies. Okay. Not but comedy. there are people that want to see the, oh, you know, okay, healthy sir. balance of comedy as well. So okay, there's a lot sir. of action. So I, Two I'll, sides. Yeah. So I, I'll agree with Johan that, like, yeah, it, I, it'd be nice if it was, like, fully action all the time. But, like, at least at least with Demon Slayer, I'll say it's, it's one of the series where I think it does it correctly. So I don't mind it. Yeah. But I, I, I can see where he's coming from. Yeah. I think I the only thing from... that's, like, a real small detail is just that, like, when we have the scenes now of like both Daki and Gyotaro like being in sync with one another where like oh, their yeah. voices are kind of blending like that's the only other thing I yeah. kind of picked yeah. up on I was like oh that's cool kudos mm -hmm. for that so, <laughs> but Tanjiro and Tengen are kind of getting into a, a rhythm now towards the end or Tengen might be just slowing down yeah some, some might say <laughs> that Probably. Tanjiro is uh heating up yes yes no pen no pun saying, saying it's hard to please <laughs> Yeah, I like how he realized yes. that sometimes using the strongest form, the fire, the sun breathing form, is not the way to go, and he just goes back to yes, water. Yeah, right. Like, oh exactly. shit, water, water, water. Mm -hmm. That, that was, was that's pretty sick. Yeah. And like, then I like the, the, like the, the animation of this fight is uh, it's got to be it's got to be pretty close because just like the the fluidity of basically like well I think this is like the first time we really got to see Tengen's like weapons go as they are I guess with mm -hmm. just like or to show how he's using them, how he's basically just pinching the edge of it. Just so you can get like more length to try to just you know swat, uh, just lop off the head. I just yep. thought it just looks it just looks so nice. Yeah, and that's the like, one episode thing nineteen. Thing. Nice. I don't remember who it was. I'm pretty sure it was Tengen when they mentioned like when they kind of hype up the other Hashiras. When it's like uh, when they mentioned like the, I don't remember the names, the big one, and then the little like yeah, yeah. When he's talking about like I know right. a guy that's like super stoic, and one uh -huh. person that became a Hashira in two months, and that's all that. like yeah, so holy yeah. shit! I want to see that. You know, I want to see boys <laughs> fighting one day, one day. Yeah. <laughs> so as I say for this, I don't know. This is more my more my high predictions, whatever. It's like like we've been fighting for like a long time, and like it's and it's, it's now it's, it's with it's with Daki and her brother. So it's like. How long is this fight gonna continue again for the next episode? Or so it's like how how's this entertainment arc gonna yeah, end? Yeah, that's like, a good it question because like we still it, don't know how many episodes yeah. it is. Is this their final when, form? <laughs> when they when they started fighting, I always think like, oh, you know, they're gonna see each other, they're gonna like exchange a couple of punches, and then they're gonna leave and they're gonna meet again. So but this is like okay, that. it looks it, it, like it, it, this. It, 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 yeah. really I thought I thought that like once we see the brother, like they're gonna run away and recover, and then we're gonna that's how we're gonna see more of the entertainment arc, but like they're going all in right now so it's like I think it's is, be, yeah. so is is this really like the final fight of this season or oh. is there like is there someone that's gonna show up like a kaza or something and just like cause more trouble david did, so, you, did you see the next episode's like, title or no no yeah it's basically i don't even think i 
It was yeah, basically something to like something with defeating a uh, upper six demon or something. So I'm assuming it, it just sounded like it's going to be like the resolved next episode. Mm, well, the okay, episode so. ended in Tanjiro almost slaying his. Yeah, you know, that happened strong. too in episode 19. Let's <laughs> see what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so. See, I try and just backing me up again for my other points. <laughs> <laughs> just getting baited, constantly baited oh, here. Yeah. If it's anything like the first season, maybe it'll it'll finish off the arc and then it'll have like an extra episode or two to basically just set up the future stuff. Because I, I think at this point, do all of us think that they're gonna they're going to animate the the whole show? Yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Okay. I mean... All right, just check. <laughs>